Okay, RoboBunnies, welcome back. Today we're going to tackle the question, how do we sort data in a spreadsheet, such as LibreOffice, my favorite spreadsheet application. Um, so let's go ahead and tackle this. Uh, let's switch over to LibreOffice. What I have right here is a sample uh, spreadsheet called Factor Approvals 2012. Uh, you can download the spreadsheet yourself. I've got the link in the show notes accompanying this video. So you can go ahead and download this and work along with me if you'd like, or you can just watch. Uh, this is data that I actually pulled off of the Factor website. Factor, by the way, stands for the Foundation to Assist Canadian Talent on Records. They're a great organization. They give money to musicians, uh, which is a good thing. If you're a Canadian musician, you should definitely check them out. So go to factor.ca and check them out. Anyway, so what I did was I pulled information off of their website. They give grants to various musicians and music organization and uh, I, uh, I basically decided to put together a spreadsheet um, listing all of the different programs and the actual grant amounts that they had awarded to various applicants and artists uh, in the year 2012. This is just for 2012. You can see there's a lot here. In fact, if you scroll all the way down, woo, let's go all the way down here. Look at that. There's like, holy, uh, how many records are in here? I'll give you a skill testing question. It's not 1644, it's 1643. Why? Because we have a header row here. See, that was a trick question. Anyway, let's get back to the original question, which is how do we actually sort this data? Why would we want to do this, first of all? Okay, here's a good example. I've got the amount offered in the D column right here. This is the amount, the grant amount offered to the applicant. And let's say I wanted to find out, okay, what is the maximum amount of money that was offered by factor in the year 2012? How would I do that? Okay, I guess I could just scroll all the way down and have a look through and keep an eye out for large numbers. That's obviously not a very smart way to do this. Uh, and I'm sure you're guessing by now that there's probably a much easier way to do this. Yes, it's called sorting. Um, so this is how we do it. I know it's taking me a while to do it. First of all, it's just, I like selecting everything here. By the way, here's a really good tip. If you don't know this already, if you click up here in this corner box, that automatically selects your entire sheet automatically. Isn't that cool? Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the data um, menu up here. We're gonna look, look at that. There's an option called sort. I bet you know what's coming. Yes, we can go ahead and sort this. And of course, the amount is under the D column here. What if we sorted here, column D, and we went ahead and clicked OK. We do that and we're like, whoa, what happened? OK, a bunch of bad stuff happened. First of all, we see that this is the sh smallest amount, not the largest amount. I have to scroll all the way down to the bottom and that's not what I wanted at all. And then my header rows at the bottom, that sucks. That's not at all what I wanted. So let's undo that. I'm on a Mac, so I'm gonna do Command Z, my favorite key command. I wish I wish I could, there was a Command Z for life sometimes. That would be really, really nice. Anyway, um, so that's obviously not the way to do it. Let's try this again. Let's go to data, let's sort. Let's do this a little slower this time. Um, I'm gonna actually, first of all, I'm gonna go over to the options button over here. and We're gonna see something here. We're gonna see that there's an option here that is currently unchecked called range contains column labels. All right, let's think about that for a second and figure out what this means. Um, column labels, well, that's just those. That's just the header row here. Those are just the labels at the top of each of those those columns. Sometimes your spreadsheet will have these Sometimes they don't. In this case, we do have them. So we should tell LibreOffice this, okay? LibreOffice is pretty smart, but it's not quite that smart. We need to actually tell it that there are column labels uh, in this spreadsheet. And so now when we go back to sort criteria, hey, check this out under sort key, this looks different. Now I don't have to look up the column numbers. See, this is pretty smart. I think this part is pretty smart. Uh, we don't actually have to say column D. We can actually say, yo, sort this by amount offered. And I'll go ahead and click OK. And look, it left that header up there, which is exactly what we've wanted. But once again, we've got this issue where the number, I've got the big, the small number at the top. I want the big number at the top. Okay, I think you know what's coming. You're smart, right? Notice right here, under again, under sort, we have the choice of either ascending or descending, right? Exactly. In this case, we actually, because we want to see the biggest number at the top, we want to sort this in descending order. Okay, maybe this was obvious, but I'm just pointing this out. If you've never worked with this before, these are some of those things that can miss you the first, uh, that you can miss the first time around. Okay, so amount offered, descending. Let's go ahead and click okay. 
There we go. And so now we see that Karis received $200,000, or at least they were offered $200,000. We don't know whether they actually received it or not. Um, so there we go. Isn't that cool? Okay, let's let's go further. Okay. Um, we'll see that down here, if we go all the way down here, we see that there's a bunch of awards for 50,000. And these seem to be just sort of, what order are these, these given in? Well, they just seem to be awarded in random order here. Uh, I thought it was, maybe it's alphabetical order. Uh, no, it's not because this starts with a C. Okay, what if we wanted to organize these a little bit better? What if we wanted to organize these by, you know, yeah, you know, what, by by alphabetical order here. Well, the nice thing is, you can actually sort multiple. You can select multiple sort keys. And what this means is, okay, so the first one amount offered descending, that's great. What if after after you've sorted everything by the amount offered, what if then, you know, we want to see all the applicants in, in alphabetical order? So just to be clear, what this means is that they're going to first of all sort everything by the amount. And then you're telling LibreOffice, all right, once you've sorted everything by, by amount in descending order, then what I want you to do is if you've got a bunch of applicants that all got the same award, then I want you to sort those in alphabetical order. And in this case, we're going to do ascending because, you know, it makes sense to get A at, at the top and Z at the bottom. Um, you don't have to do it that way. You can do it however way you want, but I'm just letting you know how how you know how to do it this way so let's go ahead and click OK and so there we go we see that when you've got awards that are all the same amount then it defaults to the next one you can do this any way you want let's say forget about the amount offered let's just look at how much money is awarded uh, at a different time of year okay you'll see here that I actually have this data is really nice you've got months here the C column contains the month of the year so 11 would be November and 2 would be February I think you get this years all 2012 because all the status for 2012 let's select all this let's change our sort order here um, let's order this by let's see well we're gonna start by year ascending it you know if you had multiple years on here that would make sense in this case it's just gonna put everything let's do the second one will be month and again let's do ascending and then once we do that um, then maybe what we'll do is we'll see the amount offered in descending and then look at that because see at first there were just three sort keys but because I selected that it automatically gave me a fourth one you can have as many sort keys as you want you can keep going on and on and on well actually in theory I've never actually tested this in practice maybe there is a limit that would be interesting to find out um, I only have one two three four five six columns in here so I'm going to run out of columns after six criteria but that's okay um, let's just leave it at that for now Let's go ahead and click OK, and look at that. So we see only one award in January, and then a bunch of awards here in February. The biggest one was $175,000, leading all the way down to, oh, there we go, right here, $1,000 or 1064 OK. Um, a bunch of these in, you know, that are all the same amount. Let's actually go back to sort. Maybe we can add one more sort key here. Isn't this nice? By the way, LibreOffice actually remembers the last sort that you did. That's really handy. Uh, let's do this by applicant. Look at that. Sort key number five appears there. Let's go ahead and do that. All right. So now all these get ordered. Isn't that cool? Okay. I think that's enough about sort. It's pretty straightforward, isn't it? So now you know a whole bunch of stuff about sort. Uh, sorting in LibreOffice. Bear in mind, this works in pretty much any spreadsheet program, whether you're using LibreOffice or OpenOffice or Excel or whatever you're using. There is always some method of sorting your data, all the different rows, and it's really handy to get good at this because you'll be doing a lot of sorting in the future. Okay, so that's all I have for you today. I hope that that was helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.